an introduction to waves, waves and light, light obviously being a wave. Um, all waves transfer energy from, from one place to another. They do that through a medium, which is basically another word for uh, a material. So for water waves, the medium would be, would be water. Uh, for sound waves, the medium would be air. Uh, we established yesterday that there were two types of waves, uh, transverse and longitudinal. Most waves are transverse waves, um, but there's the, the odd little wave that is longitudinal, sound being one of them. Um, so longitudinal waves carry energy along the wave, so the, they disturb the medium in the same direction as the wave itself is travelling. So it's, it's horizontally the disturbance is. Um, sound is an example of that. It basically squeezes the, uh, the molecules of air and creates air pressure to pass the sound from, from one place to another, to pass the energy from one place to another. Transverse waves, uh, they carry energy at right angles to the direction of travel of the wave. So that's what makes the sine wave shape. So they might be traveling forwards. The wave uh, is carrying energy forwards, but the, the medium is disturbed up and down, up and down the wave. Most waves that we'll encounter will be transverse waves, uh, electromagnetic waves, water waves, uh, light waves as well. So just really recapping the sort of terminology for, uh, for waves that we'll, we'll use throughout the rest of this. Uh, subtopic. Uh, amplitude is basically the, the height of a wave. So the amplitude really dictates for you uh, how much energy a wave has. Uh, we looked at that yesterday with water waves. The more energy you put in, the higher the amplitude becomes. Uh, we've got peaks and we've got troughs. The peak can also be referred to as a crest. A wavelength is the distance from one wave uh, to the same point on the next wave. The period is the, the, the time taken for one wave to pass. We've also got frequency as well. Remember that frequency it tells you how frequent something is. It's basically telling you how, no, how many waves are passing every second. So we can calculate uh, what the frequency is by doing the number of waves divided by the time taken. So we've got a wee example there, 10 waves passing in two seconds, 10 divided by two, five hertz. So five waves every single second. From frequency, we can also calculate what the period is. Um, the period is the time taken for one wave to pass. So not to be confused with the frequency, which is the number of waves in a second. Um, the period is equal to 1 divided by the frequency. So for that same example, it's 1 divided by 5, 0 0.2. So that means one wave every 0 0.2 seconds. All waves, whether it's light waves or uh, electromagnetic waves or sound waves, they all exhibit the same properties. Um, one of those is reflection. Uh, waves will reflect off things. Like we discussed, um, electromagnetic waves, like, like heat waves, will reflect off silver foil. Water waves will reflect off some kind of boundary, like a wall or something like that. Sound waves we know reflect off walls because you know we can hear echoes. Um, diffraction, all waves will exhibit diffraction, so that's a kind of bending of, uh, of the wave. Um, those first two aren't necessarily as, as important for the purposes of this unit. We're going to be looking at more refraction and interference over the next series of lessons. So refraction, which we'll look at later today, is the, um, the changing of direction of light as it moves from one sort of medium to another and interference we'll, we'll look at after we've done refraction. So one final note um, on the sort of vocabulary of waves, um, a ray, we might refer to um, a ray diagram or a ray of light. Um, a ray basically tells you the, the, uh, the direction of travel of the wave. So it's, it's much easier just to draw a straight line with an arrow indicating which way it's going than to draw waves. And the last little thing is, for vocabulary-wise, is wavefronts. Now, wavefronts just means the crest of a wave, which we'll look at later when we do interference.